Welcome to the JetBrains YouTube channel. In this video, you will learn how to add RBS to your project and get an overview of the main RBS features that RubyMine offers. Install RBS. RBS targets Ruby 2.6.0 and later. If you are using Ruby 3 as your interpreter, the RBS gem is available out of the box and you don't need to install it. But if you are using an earlier version of Ruby, make sure to add the RBS gem to a gem file and install it to a project SDK. Add type signatures to a project. RubyMine comes with convenient tools that allow you to create new RBS files and generate RBS prototypes based on your Ruby files. First, you will need to create a new RBS file. Right-click the required directory and select New RBS File slash Class. Then, specify the file name and press Enter. RubyMine will create an empty file where you can add your type signatures. You can also generate an RBS prototype from an existing Ruby file. Open the Ruby file that you want to generate type signatures for and go to Code, Generate in the main menu. In the Generate pop-up, select Type Signatures. RubyMine will generate a new RBS file with the same name as your Ruby file. All types included in the resulting prototype are marked as untyped and serve as templates. You can examine the high-level structure of the RBS file using the Structure Tool window. Edit RBS files. RubyMine offers coding assistance features designed to help improve your experience with RBS. This includes syntax highlighting, code folding and formatting, smart indentation, auto-insertion of parentheses, and so on. The IDE supports RBS code completion and includes suggestions for classes, modules, methods, keywords, and more. RubyMine will suggest the most appropriate completion options as you type. RubyMine lets you use the rename refactoring within RBS files. For simple refactorings, RubyMine uses the inline version, while in complex cases, RubyMine will show a pop-up. If you rename an element in RBS, the IDE will automatically try to find and rename other text occurrences of the renamed element in comments and string literals. The refactoring accepts names without prefixes for interfaces of a global, instance and class variables. In RubyMine, there is a set of code inspections that detect issues in your RBS files on the fly. For example, the ID will highlight unresolved references or duplicate definitions within the same file. Enjoy better code insight. Using the information from RBS files, RubyMine determines the types of Ruby elements and offers better code insight when you are developing in Ruby. RubyMine displays methods from appropriate classes at the beginning of the list when code completion is invoked. The ID warns you about type errors if there is a mismatch between the RBS and Ruby code, for example in method parameters or return values. There is also an inspection for optional types specified in RBS. In such cases, RubyMine will display an error if you invoke a method without first checking for nil. You can quickly identify the type of an expression in your Ruby code by using the type info action. Place the caret at the desired Ruby element and go to view type info. Without RBS, RubyMine uses its own type inference to show the type. But in some cases, Ruby code doesn't contain enough information. Type info will always work when RubyMine utilizes the types specified in RBS files. The go to declaration and find usages actions can be very helpful when navigating large code bases. The IDE can determine how different project entities relate to each other, allowing it to provide precise results instead of showing all the potential usages. 
With the introduction of RBS, the rename refactoring has become more precise. When RubyMine utilizes RBS, it will only suggest renaming relevant entities instead of showing all potential options. In the main menu, go to Refactor, Rename. Enter a new name and click Refactor. Navigate between Ruby and RBS files. There are several options for navigating from a Ruby declaration to its type signature and vice versa. Select a type signature and go to Navigate Associated Declaration to navigate to the associated Ruby declaration. You can use the same action to navigate from a Ruby declaration to its type signature. Just select a Ruby declaration and go to Navigate Type Signature. Another way to find an associated declaration or type signature is by using intention actions. Place the caret at the required declaration and press Alt Enter. Select the action from the list and press Enter. Partial declarations in RBS files are marked with gutter icons. You can navigate between them by clicking these icons. And that's it! You can learn more about RBS from our documentation. Thanks for watching!